But first, let me begin with uh, showing my gratitude, my enormous uh, thankfulness to all of you and uh, everybody that is showing their true love, their commitment, their loyalty, and uh, their support uh, in such uh, uncertain times. This will not be forever. This is not going, uh, not going to define our outcome. Uh, this is just a passing cloud. And uh, I don't want to give it more attention than it is since it's temporary. Let's focus on the uh, long-term sustainable vision and dream. And that's uh, where I want to take it back to uh, where my brother Michael was talking about, uh, where the concept of unpassive, like, you know, the do it or die, I, actually, it has concept. It, it it's more conceptual now and you know uh, what I'm trying to say it has evolved okay to a bigger need than it was a couple of years ago when we decided the concept was appealing and we loved it for that now having been on the journey, on the practical journey and, and the execution of that dream, we have also evolved in other ways, mentally. Now we understand the importance of Unpassive and the vision of Unpassive. As I said last Sunday with a few uh, of my uh, intelligent friends, I said Unpassive is not just a business. And it's not just a transactional relationship. It's a true movement to the core where there is a strong ideology and motive behind it that you cannot stop it regardless of the mechanics. As we know, Success, especially in the people business, is 80% psychology, mental, attitude, the mindset, all of that. And only 20%, probably less, it's about the mechanics or the details. It's almost irrelevant. If you are <laughs> miserably failing in the details and the mechanics, you have zero experience whatsoever, but you're made of the right stuff with it the principles that you have the faith that you have as also i heard my brother earlier talking about if you have that value within you got 80 percent of success plus you're showing plus you're bold enough to take action showing up is a big part of success So not only you have the right mindset and the clarity on the vision, on the ideology, you want to achieve that, but you also took action, lots of action. You've invested a lot of time in, into it. So it becomes even greater than 80% your success ratio. It's almost you're there. Now, mechanically, it's not fair to say we failed you know the 100% which equal 20% of the entire process uh, you don't need to be michael williams to understand the math i did uh, so <laughs> it's simple 20% is is you know the mechanics the the details or the business logistics and all of that uh, it's only 20% of your overall success but say we got a good portion of it. We're way up high, 90, 95% in, in, into the success uh, path, but it's only a matter of time to reach that outcome. And the outcome is, is sustainable in a way that is, is renewable. It's not, we're not going to reach a certain, okay, we're going to reach this number. Okay, we're a company that is going to achieve this number of customers or this uh, number of whatever wealth or and that's it. No, this is a lifelong journey 
even beyond that, I, I believe it's a legacy that we could leave here on earth for generations to come. Why? Because we're sick and tired of what's happening there. The greed, the theft that is happening in the real world. Okay, we're sick and tired. Like as he rightfully said, uh, yeah, there is a recession. We're just not announcing that economy is dead anyway, okay? Everywhere. And it's, it never matter. If I don't tell you the president, you go have a nap for five years and wake up and I tell you, based on the facts on the ground, okay, and your personal life, guess who was the president for the five years? You're not going to know. It's irrelevant. That would be amazing if I could sleep five years. But... Uh, back to the things that can bring us together. I know you 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 mentioned sports. I agree, okay, some people like that. But I don't like the sport that you just like sit on the couch and watch and you think like, oh, you are like a muscular, you know, red redfern. Okay, no, 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 no. You're just, you're just a potato couch, okay, laying down and watching TV and just happen the channel to have sports on it on the screen, but you have nothing to do with sports. Okay, I like you to be in the field and sweating. That's the type of sports I'd like uh, to talk about. Now, uh, let's add the topic that uh, Chris and I love to mention, which is uh, food, bring us together. True, it's a fact. Uh, music, okay, travel, all those are you know, things we have more in common, you know, safety, uh, good family structure. We, those are our value. Okay. So there's so much that can bring us together, but you know, there's one thing that we all love and we can't have enough of. And when we have a solution that can be the center, the center of this, uh, the uh, ideology or movement, money whether it's sports or food or music or travel, it gets a lot better to a different level when you have enough money. And the other part is you're going to need time to enjoy the other stuff, whether social life or family time. Those are our values. We share our shared values. No matter where you are, no matter who you are, okay, those are our shared values. you, you got to like something. I never heard somebody, oh, I hate food. I'm not going to eat. That's it. I'm done with food. I'm sick and tired of food. I'm no longer going to eat any bite, okay? It's like, I don't believe in gravity. Just go jump from the uh, Empire Building, <laughs> from the rooftop, <laughs> and say no gravity, okay? You cannot, it's a law, okay? So I love those values, but what makes them more enjoyable is if we have the time, if we have the money to obviously live them up. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to go back to the concept of unpassive, focusing on years ago, we saw the need because there's a gap between the rich and poor. There's a gap between, you know, middle class and, you know, the 3,000 billionaires uh, globally or uh, all those, uh, uh, you know, contrasts in our society. Uh, People in different regions have a different life or li lifestyle than others. We we saw we could have a platform where it can kind of like balance the uh, uh, the, the battlefield, if you wish, okay, uh, or the playing field. Now, having been working on it, we've invested more now, so we have a bigger desire because I, I mentioned the reservoir is a big, okay, uh, motive when you've invested something in a in a long relationship okay or business or any activity if your investment time wise just a couple of days yeah it's not working i'm gonna quit i change direction you're open to that but when you've invested almost like your most golden time of your life on such a journey to achieve that goal It's hard to quit. It's almost impossible to quit because you've invested a lot, your tears, your blood, your time, your emotions, and you are closer to the safe harbor. A hundred meter swim.
you swim one meter and you get tired or demotivated? Do you go back the 99 to the other side or you just go back one meter? One, so you can quit. If you've invested your energy and your physicality to reach 90% to the other side, you cross 99, or I'm sorry, 90, 90 meters of your destination. So you have 10 to reach. I know you're tired. You have 10 to reach the, the, the desired destination or 90 to go back and give up. Which one makes more sense? Or give up and sink. A, B, C, which one? It's very obvious. You are ready to fight, to go all the way, whatever it takes, deadly until you get to the other side because you're almost there and you've invested a lot. You've been sweating. You've been working so hard on the 90 meters. You're almost there, so you would do it. So let's talk about that. So our vision is now more embodied in us, okay, more necessary, more mandatory, our success than a while ago. The reasons are enormous, limitless, but I'll give you a few. Why unpassive is more important or the vision, the ideology of unpassive today is far more important today than five years ago. Why? Number one, We see the other side. What are our choices? What are our options? It's the most reasonable, logical, lovable concept that we see out there. Nobody offers better. Don't wait for a better solution from the White House or the Pink House or whatever bangle, it's not gonna come from a president. We've gotta create our own economy as the people of this planet, beautiful planet. Don't wait for a solution to be handed to you from whoever, you know, having a nice talk. And they always deliver one thing. Cheat their way in to the top, and fail to deliver one single thing for you and me. That's the only thing they deliver. Failure. So they steal our hopes and dreams, and we put them in the wrong. So, but when you have, when you have a movement, a tribe such as on passive and those incredible leaders around, you understand that it's coming from people who care who are actually in the field, and they mean to do such a thing. They're not running for any office or position. They're doing it from the heart, by design. Not for any cheap reason. Number two, because of who we have with us today. Five years ago, yeah, we were a small group, okay, much smaller than today. But being together today for that invested time, we have more minds on the vision, more eyes on the vision. More people who are supporting that, more talent, more expertise, more, more, more love, more so, okay, in every aspect. So because of those, in every angle you look at it, it adds more power to the process so we can get to where we want to go. 
because we have more power with, with from the people within. Plus, let's look at the other side. Cannot disappoint that many people anymore. If it's desired by, by that number of people, then it's a big deal. Same thing goes by how many people are trying to kind of like, say, resist. I know their imaginary dream is to destroy us, <laughs> but uh, good luck with that. Now, when you realize how big of a deal it is, we're up to something so pretty. <laughs> so that's why uh, it matters more today than five years ago. We've invested time, we've invested money, energy, and relationship, you know, ups and downs, good and bad, uh, laughter, cries, all of that. It's not easy to let that go. We are 90% closer to the other side where we want to go. It's a disaster to think of quitting or sinking or going back. There's no way. Let me add another thing, which is, yeah, we've been here and the information is out there. The IT providers or the technology providers or the business providers in different sectors have heard about such a nice vision provided by us. And some were very involved paying to the paying attention to the details. Yet they didn't care to provide a better solution or to compete in, in a constructive way. So even if the blueprint is obvious right now, it's no secret to all of us, yet nobody bothers, nobody cares, because it's not that good for them. We come to know people so close to know their life, their stories. And because of that, we cannot let them down. Not on my dead body, I would let one of them down. If they're genuine with us, we'll do whatever we could in our power, even the impossible, we'll go the ugliest path just not to disappoint any of those incredible people. It's a beautiful concept what we have. It's a beautiful concept. Don't pay attention to the mechanics. They're irrelevant. The overall success is already within reach. It's, it's almost in hands. It's needed. It is so much needed today because of the time we've invested, because nobody bothers, okay, because of the attraction we have, who we have, all those reasons, and I can give you more and more, and you you can add your own if you want to uh, chime in any time, perhaps. Uh, and another thing is we've learned a lot. we believe we're more effective now than a while ago. We make mistakes. By trusting the wrong pals or the enemy within, or uh, we make mistakes out of love. Because we're made of the right stuff based on a good intention. We made mistakes in good faith of some individuals. But uh, most people, you would reevaluate and question those principles. Should I trust? Should I have a care? 
or uh, why should I bother? Uh, actually, that would be the biggest disaster you would uh, have in your life if you let evil overtake the good in our life. It becomes more important for you to fight and stick to your principles because you know they're bothering so many crooked people. As my brother Chris Johnson said, uh, most handsome man in uh, 2024 in the state of uh, Michigan. Uh, I've seen that somewhere, right? <laughs> Got to lighten up the process. Okay, so uh, select a proper resource to get your information from. If you're listening to somebody and all you're hearing is doom and gloom and they're crying about everything, you're going to be probably in the hospital because it's unhealthy. Why you shouldn't listen to unsuccessful people? Number one, they're not successful. <laughs> unsuccessful people, they're not successful. Why would you listen to somebody who's even unknown? Two, they don't offer you a solution. They're just crying and, and bitching about everything. No matter what you do, they're going to find something to pick on. Always the dark side of everything. So is it healthy for you to listen? No. Okay, no. Uh, keep in mind, the whole thing about picking your source, I said picking, it's optional. That's the beautiful side of the internet and today's media. You choose, you click, you decide, and you select what you want to hear. Why would you want to select something negative and it's going to suck your time and energy? Why would you do that? If somebody's adding value, whether it's information, hope, promise, or um, a practical solution, or something positive, enabling you to think different, better, all of it, I would listen to them, sure. But if somebody's telling you, it's no, it's ugly, it's impossible, you cannot do this, you're going to lose, you're a loser, why are you doing that? And they're not giving you a solution or a alternative, why would you listen to them? One negative thought shuts down your immunity system for 48 hours. Not two hours, not four minutes, 48 hours. Those are two days in Denmark, in Costa Rica, in Bangladesh. No matter where you are, 24 hours, twice. One negative thought. So if you sit down and listen to <laughs> one of those idiots, for an hour, and you get, let's say, five day, five, um, five or, 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 you know, maybe ten negative thoughts, you're destroyed for the month. So all you need is listen to a one-hour rant of an idiot, unsuccessful loser. So one a month, your life is over. So be careful about the sources of your information, the knowledge and the, uh, uh, you know, the facts. Okay. Only listen to people who are ahead of you. They're successful. They're ahead, like, I don't want to say above you, but they've been there. Okay. They have been through that journey and they know how to take you there. Okay walk you by the hand to take you where, okay, where you want to go. Like Michael Williams said, okay, he's been there. He's been successful. I would listen to him every minute he is available. He's given me that because good leaders are always available to help. Their time is valuable, but they're always available, not just when it's lucrative for them or profitable, when they're having cheap clicks or uh, views, okay, no, no matter what, 
They're showing up day in, day out. They're giving you their time. They're available. Good leaders are available to help you because they mean and they're interested in your success. Corrupted leaders or so-called leaders, you think they're leaders, you're listening to them, they're sucking your time and money, and they're not giving you an option or alternative or any opportunity. They're not offering you anything positive. They only will show up when it's profitable for them, when it's beneficial for them. Good leaders are able to lead you, able. They're available, they're able. They're available, and they're able. Doesn't matter, you know, for somebody who's unable, and they give you 24 hours of their time. <laughs> it's a waste of your time, too. Gotta be able. Listen to somebody who's able, who's been through that before. But now, they're just doing it with you. They're allowing you to be in, and it, they're doing it much bigger, much bigger at a, at a higher scale and much better because they have experience. I often like the concept and the, and the analogy of uh, travel guide versus travel agent. So if somebody is preaching lots of theory and bogus and all of that and they haven't even done that to themselves so, like they're they're booking you to destinations they've never been to somebody would sell you something delusional and they've never been there. When a travel guide will actually be there in the field, walk you by the hand. I have been there many, 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 many times and I'm just taking you there. I know all the, the detours, I know the details, I'll walk you, I'll take you to the right food, to the place, the people, they know everything. They've been there, they're just taking you there this time. That's it. You need a travel guide. So don't waste your time and energy with unsuccessful people. First of all, before you read any book, look at the cover, at the writer, the source, do you want to be like them? If somebody I wouldn't wish to be like, how would I listen to them? So I'm going to ask you, all of you are listening to those incredible people who care about your life, okay? Question that again. Think again today. One more time. Do you want to be like them? Do you want to achieve what they've achieved, which is zero and misery? Or do you want to be with people who will stretch your dream and make you think bigger, bolder? It's a different way. There's another way. And we're going to fight. We're going to try together in unity, in love. And we can do it. Make no mistake, we can achieve that. So I didn't want to talk about the mechanics and the details and all that. Like Red said, okay, tribulant. Doesn't matter, okay? We're going to get there. Crawling, flying on a rocket, on a boat, on a scooter, skating. It doesn't matter. We're going to get there, okay? We're going to get there. It doesn't matter how. There's so many ways to go to Jamaica. I mean, Rome. <laughs> I love... Uh, this theme of uh, 360 because you have better speakers than me every time. I don't like it when you just invite me here, okay? The focus would be on me. So I'm very happy. Again, I'm delighted to be here. And again, I would love for you to to, to, uh, to get in. I didn't want to have a speech in a way, but uh, make no mistake. Uh, we know what's coming and we know 
We always offer solutions. You get stuck in one way, no problem. There's another way, okay? So uh, yeah, uh, some things didn't work, okay? Um, doesn't matter the reasons. We'll we'll have we'll invite you one day. We'll say, bring your popcorn, some tissues, or your beverage, whatever it is, and sit down. And we're going to tell you a story. Okay, we'll we'll let you know that in time. It's not going to change anything. Just for curiosity, maybe. Okay. Now, what matters to you today? We know we are on the right track with the right people, and we're going to win all the way. We're going to give you the time, the, the money, the solutions that you need to improve your life. There's a massive, massive need for the concept and the idea of Unpassive. It's absolutely a better way. It's more fair. It's more, uh, it has more justice, if you wish, okay? Anybody can succeed, okay? Let, let me tell you something. Uh, this is just, it, it should go by without saying which is because of what's happening, it made me think, what's your chance of achieving that on your own? Success is not easy. Here's the good news. You're not risking your own money or time or you know, you're not being fought in every dimension like we are. So this is re it's an easy ride for you, okay? So you just get the positive results. And when it's not good, you don't have to pay the price. So when you get somebody who's telling you, come on, let me do it, ride along, I'll take you to where you want to go, and I'll take all the heat, I'll take all the arrows thrown at me. You're safe, you're protected. Nothing is going to come your way. You got nothing to lose, number one. And number two, you don't get that again in your life. You don't get that twice. No chance that you would ever give this again in your life. Where you have somebody that is doing it for you better than you can do it on your own. Trust me. And they have done it before, but they're including you this time at a bigger scale. When you get that, don't question. Don't think. Just jump. So, because of that, when you think about the risk of being with us, seriously, the risk is at us, okay? When you think about that, okay, we are taking the risk. We are paying the price. There are amazing people around us from this uh, community who are contributing heavily. Also, they got some of the heat uh, being in the battle too. But it just makes us stronger because it's not one man. It's not a one man show. It's not one person who's who's doing that so there are so many of us on the company side um, from the leaders around everybody we have enough people to fight for the vision for the dream on your behalf and you just enjoy the fruit and the harvest you got nothing to lose Absolutely nothing. And everything to, to gain. Everything to gain. Uh, look at history. Look at the record. This hasn't been done before. For the first time, a company, a person, a group of people, a team is willing to pay the price for your success. Using their money, their time, their sacrifice, the reputation, all of that to make it possible for you and for those who are probably have no chance, zero chance. The vast majority of, of you know the global population would have zero chance to achieve what could be achieved when we do it in a in, in our group. So because of that, um, it's inevitable for you to evaluate your thinking, reset your mindset, 
and um, make sure that you're listening to the right people, to the to the clean ethical people with integrity, transparency, and what matters most is what's their intention toward you, your family, your future. What would this idiot do to your life? Okay, uh, I'm talking about the unsuccessful people. If you continue listening to them, following them, believing in them, what would happen to you five years from now, 10 years from now? Or people who are really genuine about making a difference, positive impact. What would happen to you if you listen and engage and do business with them? The decision is simple, is easy. It's a no-brainer. Be wise, be selective about your time, your energy, your dreams, and know who to ride with.